following video, if you are struggling to choose between a Tibetan Mastiff, also known as Dotkai, and an American Akita also known as Akita, we have compiled all the detailed information you need to know to help you make the best choice. So let's begin the fight. Intimidation Factor The Tibetan Mastiff is one of the world's oldest breeds and was used as a guard dog in his native country, protecting properties, including monasteries as well as entire villages and livestock. It's impossible to discuss this breed without leaning on words like powerful, muscular, massive and substantial. Their enormous size and copious amounts of fluff give them the appearance of a dangerous lion. An adult male Tibetan Mastiff stands at a height of 26 to 28 inches at the withers and weighs between 45 to 72 kilograms, whereas the Akita is a muscular, unique-looking dog that is native to Japan. They were originally trained as royal guard and hunting dogs in their home country. There are actually two types of Akitas now, the American Akita and the Japanese Akita in you. Both have unique characteristics due to their different locations and bloodlines. In comparison to its close relative, the American Akita is significantly larger and heavier, with males reaching a height of 26 to 28 inches at the withers, and weighs between 45 to 59 kilograms. They are powerful, agile, muscular, confident dogs with large heads said to resemble a bear. However, in terms of intimidation, a Tibetan Mastiff have got all the hallmarks of an intimidating breed as compared to an Akita. So one point to Tibetan Mastiff. Tibetan Mastiff 1 American Akita 0 Bite Force Among the two, an American Akita pressure bite topped 400 psi, whereas in case of Tibetan Mastiff, we didn't have any information with respect to its bite force. However in our opinion, considering the dog breeds with similar cranial dimensions, we estimate it could be in between 500 to 700 psi. So one point to Tibetan Mastiff. Tibetan Mastiff 2 American Akita 0 Powerful Guard Dog The Tibetan Mastiffs are also known as Dog Kai which translated means Thai Dog. A reference to the fact Tibetan Mastiffs were often seen tied at the entrances of the temples, tents and houses they guarded. For centuries these imposing dogs earned the reputation of being legendary guardians in their native, Himalayas, where they have always been highly prized. The breed's guarding instincts are heightened at night, and many dogs of this type can bark loudly and excessively in the evening hours. Whereas the Akitas have a naturally strong desire to protect and guard which often means they rarely back down when confronted. They were originally trained as royal guard and hunting dogs in their home country of Japan. They are intensely alert but do not bark unless they have a good cause. They are tremendous natural watchdogs which means they don't need to be trained to protect and guard anything. In our opinion both the dogs are amazing guard dogs. So one point to both. Tibetan Mastiff 3 American Akita 1 Temperament The Tibetan Mastiffs may seem like intimidating giants, but rest assured they're not as scary as they look. Because of their heritage as a guardian breed, the Tibetan Mastiff is an independent thinker with his own agenda. In their mind, they knows best and therefore can be strong-willed and stubborn when it comes to getting their own way. Whereas the American Akita is a very confident dog that instinctively protects its territory, food, and human family. This dog is very friendly with people as long as he does not feel threatened, and is playful, affectionate and loyal to his owners. Both the dogs need to be trained by an experienced person from an early age for them to be truly well-rounded dogs. In our opinion both the dogs have similar temperament. So one point to both. Tibetan Mastiff for American Akita 2. Lifespan. The average life expectancy of an American Akita is in between 10 to 12 years and that of a Tibetan Mastiff is in between 10 to 15 years. So one point to Tibetan Mastiff. Tibetan Mastiff 5 American Akita 2. Exercise and Energy Levels. Both the dogs are not a highly active breeds but does require moderate exercise. They ideally need to be given at least an hour's exercise every day and they also need to be given a a lot of mental stimulation for them to be truly happy while rounded characters. So with similar energy levels, one point to both. Tibetan Mastiff 6 American Akita 3 Friendly with kids and other pets, both the breeds are known to be good around children's, more especially if they are well-bred, even tempered dogs. In case of other dogs and pets, 
Both the dogs can show aggression which is why it's important they be introduced to each other slowly and carefully to make sure things go smoothly. So one point to both, Tibetan Mastiff 7 American Akita 4. So the winner between the two guard dogs is the Tibetan Mastiff.